Hey everyone, Kimo here, and welcome to my home. I get a lot of questions about decoupaging and what materials to use and what the process is like, so I decided to do a video series where I show you how to do easy DIY decoupage projects with items that you find at the Dollar Tree. And speaking of the Dollar Tree, look at the fun designs that they've come up with, all sorts of patterns and colors, and these are just fantastic to use for decoupage projects. So I'm hoping to give you some really great ideas for some fun, colorful, quirky decor that you can do in your home as well. Today's project is a very simple and cylindrical vase that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Before I go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for our latest videos every Sunday. And I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in a comment down below what you love most about this project, and let me know what kinds of future projects you'd like to see on my channel as well. All right, here we go. For this project, we'll need some decoupage glue. I'm laying down some parchment paper as a non-stick surface. And of course, we have our cylindrical vase from the Dollar Tree. We also have this really awesome tissue paper that has a white background and multicolored stripes, including a metallic silver stripe. Here I'm adding some decoupage glue to about half of the surface, which is enough for us to put down that vase on our pre-measured piece of tissue paper. Here I'm adding decoupage glue to the rest of the vase and we'll start to slowly roll this vase onto the tissue paper. We're adding some decoupage glue to the seam here and we'll continue to roll until all of the tissue paper is securely on that vase. We also need to add glue to the entire surface of the vase. And speaking of decoupage glue, you can use Mod Podge or any other brand or in a pinch or if you want a less expensive option, you can always use white school glue with a little bit of water. After some drying time, you can see that the tissue paper has dried on there with kind of an opalescent effect and we need to remove the excess paper on the top and the bottom of the vase and I'm doing that with a nail file which kind of acts like a sander. On the bottom of the vase we still need to remove some excess tissue paper there as well which we're doing with the nail file and after that's done we're ready for our final result. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for the latest videos that we publish every Sunday. And you take care. See you later.